And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you a width tool alternative. You can use that to adjust the stroke just like this. I've got the original created with the Bezier tool. So left click, then left click and drag to create the curvature. I've made the stroke a little bit thicker. You can adjust it with the notes tool. So change the angle with the handles if you click on it or just rearrange the notes directly. But adjusting the width needs a special effect, or at least that's one way that you can adjust it. Just go to Path Effects, then select this one, the Power Stroke. And if you now use the Notes tool, you don't just have the notes, you also have these three, what is it, kind of like a red node. And if you drag it up and down, the width of the stroke is adjusted. It goes in both directions, so you can kind of like turn the stroke at this node point around. You can adjust the smoothness over here and add different interpolation types. Best way to learn what they do is to just select them and see it applied in real time on your path. The start cap is on the left in this case. So you can give it a butt cap, for example. By default, it should all be zero width. The end cap functions the same on the right hand side in this case. And you can adjust the width scale directly numerically up here. If you've got different paths connected, you can uh, change the join and adjust the miter limit. So if you've got a miter join selected, let us recreate the second stroke that I've got here. So I'll make this a bit thicker and we need a round start cap. So let me change it. You can drag these red nodes around on your path. So that way the width is repositioned. And for the end cap, we need a zero width to thin it out. So let us go to the next example, which I've got here. And there are multiple adjustments. Normally you only have these three red nodes that you can drag. But I need more to create this example. So let me copy the original right here, Control D. If I just add the power stroke again, I've got only these three red nodes, but I need more. One way that you can create that is to just redraw your path in segments. I'll make it two. So one from the left to the center and one from the right to the center. Got the snapping enabled that helps me. And now I select these segments one by one, and both of them now have these three red nodes, and it gives me more options to adjust the stroke. Once again, the second one needs the power stroke as well. Use your notes tool and then adjust it. You can select them both and then press Ctrl G to group them. And this is how you can adjust your stroke even further. So if you cut it down into different segments, all of these segments will get these red notes to adjust with. And it's kind of like a whiff tool alternative in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.